Okay, so here is my video. I am actually doing a review on the Cray Pen. These run about $14 on Amazon. There's the box. It says it's paint on just about any surface. Glass, wood, metal, paper, plastic, and more. Blend colors with ease. But the classroom is a special space. That is the space where kids get to use different tools, different things than they're used to using, experience, how different media kind of interact and different ways we can approach problems. I love finding different ways to use crayons than I normally do, whether it's in collage or even using the paper wrapper or whatever it is. It's best to focus, but there's basically a hole. You dip it into the crayon, it fills the hole, and then you've got this loaded tip, um, like a fountain pen. So you can really use any crayons. That's the best part. I have bins and bins of leftover crayons and I would absolutely use this tool. Um, to do that with a couple of safety precautions. So um, the other thing that you need to know is that this hole gets gooked up with wax. So they sell these blank wax discs, just like you uh, Easter eggs, you know, the little wax crayons that are, that have no color in them or pigment. That's basically what it is. So you could even use those if you wanted to. Okay, so here's kind of my bin of extra crayons that I have. This is awesome for reusing crayons. And I also do a lot of projects using like glue drawing and what a pain that is in an art classroom. Just from the logistical standpoint, uh, the, the work can sometimes get wet and heavy. And this to me would be an awesome, really cost-effective solution. Even though these are a high-end cost at the beginning, they dry super quick. So you're not dealing with things on a drying rack. Things sort of seem sort of thin. Um, so basically what you do is you just take this, it melts right in. And you can see it's slowly going in. And then you just draw. It's got that filled up spot. If I wanted to change colors, melt that right in. You can actually hear it. And I could melt that in. Now, if I wanted to blend two colors, since you have that heated tip, you know, just by kind of moving across in little circles, you'll get two blended colors moving into one another, just like you would with coloring. Okay. Now, this does get loaded with uh, wax, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal to go ahead and clean it up. If you were really particular and wanted to make sure you had a clean color every single time, then, you know, by all means, get that clear puck taking a look at this. You know, I was experimenting with just like some simple cross hatching. This was the thin tool, uh, filling in and blending what it's like to dot things. And you know what? This does not come off. I mean, could I take it off? Yeah, I could. I mean, I'm sure if I, if I really worked at it, I could, but it has a really nice, um, texture to it. It's very cool. So a couple of notes, this, by the way, this is the on off button. It does not actually turn red until it starts to heat up. So you might think yours is broken at first, but if you give it a minute, it does heat up. Second thing is this cord. I would actually tack these to a table so that uh, it doesn't drop and fall. It's maybe like a box top where you could actually thread this through so that the, everything kind of stays um, encased, I think would be a really good As a teacher, this would be an awesome tool. I think this is a great way to get rid of leftover crayons. It's an awesome way for students to experiment, experiment and explore a different tool and product. Age levels, definitely probably age nine and above. Uh, depending on the kid, they need to be a good listener. They need to be somebody who's attentive and paying attention. Um, I would have them actually practice with a small card so they got a feel for it. Um, from a parent's perspective, I am a parent of a very messy seven-year-old. Are you going to touch it? Mm -mm. Really? Because normally mm -mm. I tell you to touch something and you touch it. If I had a kid who just loved art and they loved doing things, this would be an awesome product. And let me tell you one of the reasons why, and I want to advocate right now for art programs, is this lends itself to creation. It's not coloring of a picture. It's not a kit. It's not Lego. It's really about developing a skill and then, you know, really pushing that skill, you know, as they get further along. And, and I'll be honest with you, as an adult, I would absolutely use this. So I think this is a, I think this is a really cool product. It is really cool. Uh, 
But yeah, this is a great little tool. Bye.